My name is Ron Rambo Kim, and I have an exciting video for you today. AimLab, your favorite free aim training program, has created a tool called the Sensitivity Finder. If you're a beginner to PC and mouse and keyboard, or maybe you got a new mouse and you just don't know your ideal sensitivity, AimLab has created this tool to help you find just that, your ideal sensitivity. So 10 minutes long, it's a few different rounds of playing, tracking, and flicking tasks and what it does is it changes your sensitivity between each round to test your performance. So are you getting better or worse? And then through playing through these rounds at the end, you'll get your recommended ideal sensitivity. Let's go ahead and load AimLab and get started. The first thing you wanna do, especially if you're a new user, is go to settings. Make sure you set your crosshair here and then under controls, for your game profile, whatever game you play, Valorant, CSGO, Rainbow Six, and then match your sensitivity for what you're using in Valorant. Right now I'm using 0.32, so it's kind of fairly low. So I'm interested to see what the sensitivity finder tool does. Then go ahead and save out, click custom up top, and then go to sensitivity here on the right hand side. Now we wanna to go to the sensitivity finder tool on the left side. And then in here, you wanna enter your DPI so you can check your mouse web page or user manual to see which DPI you're using. So my mouse currently has 800 DPI, so I entered that in. And the first task here in this playlist is Spheres Track Ultimate. So let's go ahead and click and begin. If you have lower sensitivity, you're probably gonna have a little bit more difficulty keeping up with the target. But regardless, just try your best. Again, there's gonna be several rounds upcoming. The goal here is just to try your best and adapt. All right, so that was 10 seconds for that one. And these are going to be warm-ups in the beginning. The next round here, we've got the FSA Reflex Shot Speed. And this task is going to be a pure flicking task, and it's also going to be a really large target. So focus on the speed of your flicks and being super reactive. So as soon as you see the target, since there's going to be a large surface area, just focus on flicking, trusting it, and then landing your shot as fast as possible. Round two complete, and we can also see the progress bar up here. We're at 8% complete. Next one is FSA a reflex shot precision. And similar to the task before, we're gonna be testing our flicking speed, but this time we're adding a precision element. So the task before, it was more reactive and more reaction based because the targets were super large. But this time, since we're going for precision, the targets are gonna be super small, about the size of a head. So just try your best to flick and stop on the shot and then prepare yourself for the next target. So now we're gonna be repeating the first task, Sphere Track Ultimate. And for the second round, our sensitivity is gonna feel a little bit faster. And what the tool is doing is it's gonna be experimenting with different DPIs based on your performance. So then it has a record of data that they can use to then recommend a optimal DPI at end of the session. So this one, it definitely feels a little bit faster. I wanna say probably twice as fast. And I'll do the best I can to perform on it and give the finder the best data possible. Next round here again is Sphere Track Ultimate. And before we click begin, I can kind of get used to the new DPI here. So this one definitely feels, I wanna say around three times as fast or faster than my original sensitivity. So this is gonna be a little difficult, but again, try the best we can so we can provide the best data. All right, halfway through 50%. And this new feeling here, it's, I wanna say about three times as fast. So definitely faster sensitivity slash DPI feel here. All right, 95%. So we're at the finish line here. All right, so here's my results. Based on your performance, we recommend the following sensitivity. So this value is in centimeters per 360, which is a unit of measuring sensitivity across games. So we see the recommendation here, my results. So 17.02 is the centimeter value. So if I move my mouse 17 centimeters, it's gonna perform a full 360 degrees inside the game. We'll go ahead and apply the settings here. If we go ahead and double check, before it was 0.35, I believe. So we've definitely got an increase in here. So let's go ahead and play another task and just see how it performs. So 
So yeah, the recommended sensitivity is going to be significantly faster than what I currently use. What's nice about the higher sensitivity is that it makes up the weaknesses that I have for longer distances. So for these wider flicks and vertical tracking motions, this higher sensitivity is definitely going to help. That concludes it for this video. Hopefully you find the sensitivity finder tool helpful for your game. Just a few tips. What I would recommend is running the tool and testing your sensitivity multiple days. So maybe twice a day, maybe once each day for the next three or four days. And then what you could do is average out those numbers. So you have more of a baseline depending on how you're performing each day, right? So one day you might be super snappy and everything's on point. The next day you might be not feeling so well. So the more times you play it, the more numbers you can average out and find something that works for you. And once you have the sensitivity, you can then convert it to your favorite game of choice and then you'll always have the same feeling no matter what. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to all of AimLab's social media channels to stay up to date with all the cool stuff that we're creating. Thanks for watching.